always just has favorite coming in as freshmen and now playing our last game here. Um, it's been an exciting one and I loved every second of it. And um, I mean, a lot of emotions this week and um, I mean, we're, we're just trying to get prepared for Nebraska and take it one day at a time and um, still make a, make a run in the Big Ten tournament and then the Penn State tournament as well. It was uh, asking Juwan about your and Xavier's um, you know, involvement when he got in here. How, how much did you guys maybe talk about, hey, we got to make sure all the guys are listening to the new guy? And, or was it something Juwan had said? Or I just wondered the, the relationship you had with him right off the bat as seniors and guys that are leaders. Yeah, I mean, we knew that with Coach Howard coming in, he would bring in something new. Um, just philosophy would be different, and um, just starting with Exxon, we had to buy in. And I think once um, Exxon bought in from the start, um, a lot of the younger guys kind of saw that, and um, they just kind of followed our, our lead. And uh, I mean, that's what I think the seniors do, the leaders do. Um, uh, the coach changed like, like what we had, and um, we had to embrace it. And um, it, it's been a really good change for us. You might be able to answer this better after the season, after some time to reflect, but what's maybe your favorite parts about being Michigan Wolverine playing here? Um, just everything about the university, not just all the basketball stuff, but all the stuff off the court as well. Um, amazing fans and stuff, and also uh, obviously the education, but also the basketball. Um, all the games we've won, um, just a winning tradition here, and to be a part of something like that, um, just something special. Is there a play that you made that you'll remember forever? Uh, I think a play that kind of stuck out to me as um, the Big Ten tournament in my sophomore year when I had that dunk, um, and then also just that run we made in my sophomore year. But um, like I said before, every win is special, and um, I'm just happy to be a part of all the wins that um, we've had so far. Is there a Chrysler you know, game or play that stands out? Um, there's always a couple, I know. Um, I know a couple times we've beat State, we got very loud in here, Ohio State last year. Um, just those, those rivalry games really um, that stood out to me. Also the North Carolina game, um, just like those those really big games that we've come on, kind of come out. Um, came on top of, um, but um, I'd say really every win. Um, it's hard to get wins in college basketball, and um, for our ex and I to get as many as we do, it's something special. And um, I give a lot of credit to Coach B and his staff, and now Coach Howard and all his staff, and just preparing us each and every day and getting us ready for um, the games. And um, we just got to go out and execute, and um, we've done that a lot, a lot the last four years. I know you guys still have games to play, but do you think tomorrow is an opportunity for you and Xavier to maybe reflect? A little bit on what you've done the past four years. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, us two just kind of be the only seniors. Um, and it's just kind of our time. You know, we just got to go out there and play hard and have fun with it. I mean, there's going to be a lot of emotions, but at the end of the day, it's another basketball game. Uh, I know I have a lot of family there as well, but um, you just got to go and enjoy the moment and have fun with it too. How many tickets were you able to get? Um, I got, we only get four, and I've had to ask a couple of guys, but they said they've had um, people coming, so a lot of other people have bought tickets as well. What would a one-on-one uh, -on -one game look like with John Teske now and freshman John Teske? Um, John Teske now, and, uh, he would he'd probably kill freshman Teske. <laughs> it wouldn't even be close. Um, I've just changed so much, and um, I mean, a lot of credit to Sam, man, um, Coach being and his staff, and uh, Coach Howard, just about me, uh, my inside game, my outside game, and um, just become more confident in myself as well. Got a score prediction to 11? It would probably be 11-0. <laughs> 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 Classmate over there, you know, we only get to see him in these settings, you know, previewing a game. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the game that just happened, I guess. You know, you, you see him in other settings. What, how, how would you maybe, what are some of the things we don't know about him that you, know, you, could, you could share? Um, I mean, he's a very funny guy. He's always joking around. Um, he got a lot of inside jokes with the team, and he's, a, he, he's kind of one I always kind of mess around with people. He knows how to get, kind of get on people's nerves and, like, um, just in a good way, and he gets people going. But um, that's some of the things you don't see. I mean, you see his leadership on the court, but all the little stuff off the court, and getting us together. Um, he, like I said the other day, uh, Monday or off day, we all got breakfast, and he kind of led that. And so, and you know, we all were talking about everything but basketball, you know, especially after a bad loss like that. Um, just kind of get us all together and just hang out and relax and chill, especially on spring break. Um, no one really has anything going on. Uh, so just kind of all those little things that a lot of people don't really see outside of basketball.